Hi guys, so I know you are probably thinking right now, Soph, are you feeling okay? Like what is going on with this new setup? So I don't know if any of you guys were with me last year, subscribe to my channel, but last year I used to have like a desk here and I had this whole like Halloween setup going on and I love decorating for Halloween and Christmas. I get so into like Halloween and Christmas decorations that I just really, really wanted to have like a Halloween-y background. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you guys think. I know it looks a little bit crazy. Uh, I still need to do some tweaking, but let me know what you think down below. I might do some of my Halloween videos here. I might do all of my videos here for October. I'm not 100% sure. Well, I'm definitely not going to be doing all of my videos for here for October because some of them are actually pre-filmed. Why is the phone ringing right now? A lot of you guys definitely worked with me last year because this time last year I had actually just hit 8,000 subscribers and a year later I'm on like 103,000 which is a little bit ridiculous. The lighting isn't quite as good as in my other videos because both my soft boxes are kind of directly in front of me whereas when I'm on my bed I can kind of have them on either side so it makes my highlight look amazing um, but I don't really have that much highlight on right now anyway but anyway Let's just get into the video. So I actually follow Poundland on Instagram, like their makeup line on Instagram, and I saw that they were coming out with some new products. So I thought, okay, I have to get hold of them. So I picked up the new Poundland makeup range, which includes contour kits, matte lip creams, which is what I'm most excited for, and uh, cream eyeshadow pencils. So I'm just gonna zoom you in and then we'll get into the products. Oh, and by the way, if my makeup is looking like really bad, I do, have like foundation and concealer on which I've been wearing all day so it might look a bit gross. So the first thing that I'm going to be testing are the contour kits and I was expecting these to be a lot bigger. If you guys watch my testing Poundland makeup video, um, the bronzers actually came in like a kind of bigger compact but these are like the same size as the eyeshadows which I found a little bit strange because like I don't know, I mean obviously I haven't tried them yet, but just by looking at them, the pans seem quite small. And the only issue is, is I think it's going to be quite hard to kind of like dip my brush into here without hitting it in the blush. So I got two different ones, I got the shade Light 1 and Medium 2, and Light 1 comes with a contour and a highlight, and Medium 2 comes with the same contour colour and a blush, so I don't really know why they're called like Light and Medium. The powders are actually powder, oh my god, obviously. The contours are actually powder, and the highlight and blush are actually creams. Okay, that's actually not too bad. It looks quite pigmented. Um, and then I'm gonna swatch the highlight. So the highlight is a cream and it's this one here. I think this is just more of like a kind of under eye highlight concealer because it doesn't have any shimmer in it at all. I'm not actually gonna be using this concealer today or highlight whatever today because I've already got my concealer on, um, but I probably will test this in another, in another video if you guys are interested. The contour powder actually feels quite smooth. So I'm just gonna swatch it next to the other one. So I'm pretty sure these two are the same colour. And then the blush, it's kind of like a Barbie pink colour. And that is a swatch of the blush. So it is pretty pigmented. The only thing is, is it's quite kind of like tough. So you need to, I feel like you need to like warm your finger up in it before you put it on your face. Okay, so I'm gonna try applying the blush with my usual kind of stippling brush. And I'm just trying to like get it in the blush and none of it in the contour powder. I'm just gonna a little bit of this on my face. Oh my god, that's really a lot. Oh, oh dear. I really like dipped my brush in it because I thought it wasn't gonna like come out that easily. But I was clearly wrong. I feel like my blush now looks really, really overboard. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush from this morning and just pray that there's some product left on it. Okay, so this is definitely pigmented. I think if you used less, then that would actually be really good. It worked really well on me. And bearing in mind, I have actually powdered my face today, so it went on really well considering it was over the top of powder. I just clearly put on way too much on this side of my face, so don't like really swell your brush on it because it's quite pigmented. So next, I'm gonna use the contour color. So I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just gonna dip it into this. Um, this is definitely not a kind of like contour shade. It's more of a bronzer because it's more like warm toned, but I'm just gonna use as a contour because that's what it seems to be there for. Again, this is actually like really quite pigmented, basically just around the perimeters of my face. I feel like now I look a little bit like a clown because I've got like orange and then pink, but that's okay. This is a testing video, right? Not like a makeup tutorial. Okay, so this is what the kind of contour slash bronzer looks like. I honestly don't think it's that bad. I think it's quite a good bronzer. Like it's not really cool enough to contour with, like contour, but it definitely works as a bronzer. Like it's actually quite a nice color. The blush was pigmented, the contour color was pigmented. I would recommend this for a pound, not bad pound land. 
Okay, so next I have the Glide Away eyeshadow stick. And I got this because I thought it looked really interesting. They had three different colors. I got this because I thought it kind of resembled the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, and this is a kind of like pearly white color. Okay, that is actually quite pigmented. Can you see this here? I don't know if you can see it shining, but it's kind of like a pearly white color. Okay, so this is the NYX one here next to it. Um, hopefully you can see the NYX one is definitely more pigmented, but then again, what can you expect? It is Poundland makeup, and I think they've done a pretty good job. Let's try putting it on my inner corners. So it works quite well in the inner corners for kind of like brightening up your eyes. Okay, so when you blend it out, it kind of goes white sheer like can you guys see it it's just kind of gone into like nothing i don't really know i feel like just for the purpose of this video just to test out my lighting i do want to put some highlight on to see how it works um because right now i don't know how it's going to show up on the lighting um so i need to see whether i can do makeup tutorials here so i'm just going to use my sleek solstice palette to highlight my face Okay, yeah, it still definitely shows up. So now for the thing that you guys, I'm sure, have all been waiting for, which is Poundland's answer to the soft matte lip creams or like matte liquid lipsticks. And I picked up two shades of these. Obviously, again, they're a pound each. Okay, so these don't have like shades or like numbers on them, which kind of sucks, but you know, again, what can you expect? These are the Makeup Gallery Pout Matters Matte. Oh, I see, Matters. Matte lip colour. Okay, one thing that I just want to say which really frustrates me is so many brands spell matte, M-A-T-T, -T. like that is the name of a man. Matte, as in like matte products, is spelled M-A-T-T-E, like is it just me that's noticed that? Like so many companies do it and I don't really get why. I got a kind of like pinky, purpley sort of colour and then I got this amazing colour which looks like it's going to be so nice. Like this is right up my street, it is absolutely beautiful, it's kind of like a brownie nude and I cannot wait to try this. Oh my god, yes! These smell amazing, they smell exactly the same. I had a slight theory that these might smell the same as other ones. Literally, for some reason, every soft matte lip cream style thing that I've tried smells exactly the same. Yep, they literally smell exactly the same as the W7 Mega Matte Lips and also the collection ones that I have. And again, they smell the same as the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. So I have high hopes for these Poundland ones. So these are swatches on my hands. This is the nude one and this is the pink one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the nude one on my lips. I actually love this color. Literally, you guys, this is so nice. I love the colour so much, it's like my perfect nude, it's kind of like a brownie kind of grey toned nude which is something that I absolutely love. I love this so much, like seriously. It feels really comfortable on the lips but then again it has that kind of like matte um, look. It doesn't dry down to like a complete matte finish like a liquid lipstick would. It's very very similar in formula to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream so it's kind of like matte in appearance but it doesn't like completely dry out and shrivel up your lips. I am 100% going to be wearing this. I think it's amazing for a pound. So moving on to the kind of pinky colour. Um, I don't normally buy colours like this and I think there are more colours in the range but there were only two left in stock. Look at that pigmentation. Okay, so this is what the kind of pinky one looks like. If I've just gone like really red, it's because I thought I heard noises in the house and I get really freaked out when I'm home alone, so blah. This is definitely not a colour that I would normally go for, but I actually really like it. This one was really, really pigmented as well. I would say it was a little bit more pigmented than the nude one, but then again, that could be just because that's a nude colour. It went on really nicely. I think it looks really nice. It's really even, it's not patchy. I just am so impressed, you guys. Like. Poundland are upping the game. So that is pretty much it for this video. I am honestly so impressed. I think Poundland have done a great job on these new products that they've brought out. My favorite thing is definitely the kind of like matte lip creams. I think they are so good. They are very, very comparable to the NYX soft matte lip creams. I would definitely say they are a dupe. So I really hope they bring out some more colors or I really hope I can get my hands on some more colors because I'm really impressed with these and they're only a pound, like what? even. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I have some more Poundland related videos on the way um, and I'm really excited to share them with you guys because yeah, 
I'm just excited. You guys will see what I mean when they go live. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, I am about to be filming my 100,000 subscriber giveaway, so that should be up pretty soon. I'm sorry guys, I know it's taken me ages, but it's because I've only just got all the stuff in and I'm trying to figure out like how it's all going to work out because there's going to be three different winners and yeah, I just need to figure it all out in my head and then I'm going to film the video and it will go live. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Just a super quick little update, I finished filming about like, I don't know, maybe like 15-20 minutes ago um, and yeah, I would say maybe more like 15 minutes ago I finished filming and the NYX, not NYX, I'm getting confused, the Panland uh, lip cream has actually kind of dried a little bit, it seems to have dried down exactly the same as the NYX soft matte lip creams do and the collection ones do, they do still transfer a little bit, let me just do a kiss test, actually it doesn't seem to have transferred at all, which is amazing. So just again, I think for a pound, these are amazing. Go out and buy every color because that's what I'm gonna be doing.